Hey everyone, I'm Brooke and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about focus modes and Apple introduced focus modes back with iOS 15. So it has been a couple of years and they can be great because they do offer a lot more flexibility when it comes to the notifications you see on your phone. However, they can be a little bit overwhelming because it's not as easy now to put your phone in do not disturb. So today I'm going to go over what focus modes are, how to use them and how to set them up. So today I'm going to be using my iPhone 15 Pro Max to set up focus modes. However, focus modes are also available on iPad and Mac. So if it makes more sense for you, feel free to follow along on those devices. Either way, you're going to find focus modes in settings. So when you go into settings, you would then scroll down to focus. My page might look a little bit different from yours just because I've already set up a focus mode, but it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna see some recommended focus modes from Apple like Do Not Disturb and Sleep. And Do Not Disturb, that's your traditional all notifications off by default. So if that's all you're looking for, then you don't have anything to worry about, just turn on Do Not Disturb. If though you do want some customization, that's where the others come into play. So you can always hit the plus button in the top right to see all of the focus modes. So all of the ones that Apple recommend, for example, driving, that's only available on your iPhone, but the rest would be available on your iPad, iPhone, or Mac. And there's also a custom one. So if you just wanna create your own focus mode from scratch, you can do that as well. And now below the focus modes, you will see two other useful settings. So share across devices. I have this turned on and that means when I turn a focus mode on, so for example, right now, I have my filming focus mode on. When I turn that on on my iPhone, it's gonna turn it on on all of my devices. So notifications will be silenced on my Mac, my Apple Watch, and my iPad as well. And then focus status is on. And when you click into that, there's a few other options. So you can turn it on and off and decide if you only want this on for certain focus modes. And what it's gonna do is basically give a status. So when someone texts you and a focus mode is on, they will see a little notification saying that you have your notification silenced. So. If your family or your best friend or someone's trying to track you down and you're not answering, it just lets them know that you probably haven't seen their notification yet because your notifications are silenced. So I find those two are very useful. So let's customize a focus mode together. I'm gonna hit the plus button. Let's go with personal. We're gonna customize it. So this is the screen you'll see for most of the focus modes. You can hit edit and I'm gonna change the icon to a house, so personal, that just makes sense to me. I could rename it if I want, hit done. Now I'm going to choose and customize the notifications I actually want to receive. So choose people. Now you have two options here. You can silence notifications from, so maybe you only want to silence the notifications from your boss during your personal time, or you can allow notifications from certain people. So that's the one I'm gonna choose for this. And because this is like personal or family time, I'm only gonna allow notifications from my family. I could add people if someone's missing from the list, but for me today, the recommendations are pretty good. I'm gonna hit next. If I didn't wanna go certain people, maybe I wanted to say allow calls from anyone on my favorites list, I could do that. But I'm gonna do allowed people only same options for apps. So if I wanna customize which apps I'm muting, like a work email or allow from certain apps. So for this one, I only wanna receive notifications, let's say from Amazon and Parcel. So if I do have a delivery, I still wanna be notified even if I'm with my family. So I'll, I'll allow notifications there. And let's add find my notifications in case I forgot my AirPods somewhere. I want to be notified of that and we'll hit done. Then if you go and hit options, you have a few different notification options here as well. The only ones I care about really hide notification badges. So that means even if I'm on my phone, if emails are coming in, I won't see the little like number five on the email app. I turn that on to hide them because I know even if I see the number five or you have 10 emails, whatever it is, I'm gonna wanna check them. So I hide all of those notification badges. 
And then next you can actually customize your different screens for focus modes, which I find is pretty cool and useful. So for the lock screen, you know, as a reminder that I have a focus mode on, I like to change the lock screen so that I know if I have a pink lock screen, I'm in a focus mode. So I'm gonna leave it to the pink one. Then the next one is you can actually customize the home screen. So maybe I know all of my work apps are on my second page. And so when I'm in personal mode, I only wanna see my first page of apps. Or maybe I wanna create a new page from scratch and edit the apps and only choose my personal apps, something like that. So you can really customize this, which I find is pretty useful. And then same thing with your watch, you can pick and choose which you want to see. I personally find the watch customization only useful for the fitness focus mode. Maybe, you know, every time you go into your fitness focus mode, you just want to have like the Apple rings visible. So I think that's the easiest there. Now, next you can actually set the focus mode to a schedule. So what this would do is you have three options. Have it turn on at a specific time every day. So maybe 5.30 every day at a location. So when you arrive home or an app. So every time you open, you know, their example is the books app, the reading focus mode can turn on. So you can customize that. Focus filters, this is definitely a little more complex, but essentially it'll make certain apps act a different way. So for an example, for the calendar, on personal time, I only wanna see my family calendar and none of my other calendars would be visible. Same thing with email. Personal time, I only wanna see my personal email. Just again, remove some temptation and some distractions, but it is a little bit more complex. You can have some system filters as well. Let's say your phone to always turn into dark mode or light mode when a focus filter turns on. And last but not least, if you mess up and wanna start all over again, you can hit delete focus and start from scratch. Now, two focus modes do have different options, so I will just quickly highlight that. In the driving mode, you'll see this auto reply. So that means I've selected favorites. So when I'm driving, only my favorites are actually gonna get a message back that says I'm driving with focus turned on. I will see this, blah, 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 blah. You can even click in and customize this. So if you want it to say, I'm driving with focus turned on, call me so that you're more hands-free. Like you can, you can customize that message. And then at the bottom, turn on automatically. So you can have it turn on automatically when motion is detected. But of course, even if you are the passenger in a car, it would turn on. My preference for this is usually when connected to car Bluetooth, because if I'm driving, I'm gonna connect my phone to Bluetooth. Otherwise, as a passenger, I probably wouldn't. So you can customize when you actually want it to turn on, which is pretty cool. And then if you go into the sleep focus, this can sync and basically work with your health app. So that's why it's a little bit different. Everything at the very top is gonna to be the same. In the customized screens, you'll just see two different options to basically turn everything black to reduce distractions and just show the time. And then at the very bottom, you will see schedule. So this is where you can sync it with your health app. So it brings you into the health app where you can actually set a full sleep schedule. And so with this second option, you schedule for sleep focus turned on. It means that the sleep focus will turn on and off based on the information you're inputting. So you can see I've added a schedule for weekdays when I go to bed and when I want my alarm to go off and then a different time for weekends and no alarm on the weekends. And then there's a few additional settings at the bottom that you can read through. They're pretty straightforward. The one I'll call out though is wind down. So I've set it for 45 minutes. I wanna start winding down 45 minutes before my actual bedtime. So the sleep focus will actually turn on at the wind down time. Okay, so now you've set up and customized your different focus modes. How do you actually turn them on and use them? So the best way is to pull down from the top right of your phone to get to your control center, and then you'll see a focus box on the left-hand side. If you wanna quickly turn one on, you can press within the circle to turn on the most recent focus mode you were in, and then the circle again to turn it off. Or if you click on the word in, in the box, 
It'll pull up a list of all your different focus modes, and again, you can just quickly turn them on and off. Or by pressing the three dots on the right, you can customize this a little bit more too. So maybe I only want do not disturb on for this one hour meeting. I will do that so that it'll only be on for an hour. Now, when you have a focus mode turned on, you'll have a few different visual cues. So the first thing is on the lock screen, you're now gonna see the name of the focus mode at the bottom to remind you that you are in Do Not Disturb, and you can just kind of tap and hold on it to pull up the list of all your focus modes again. And then the other thing is a visual cue at the top. So the Do Not Disturb icon is the little moon crescent. You're gonna see that in your status bar at the top so that you know you are in that focus mode. And then if you remember at the very beginning, we turned on the setting to share focus modes across all devices. So I will also see this little moon icon on my Apple Watch at the top, as well as my Mac and my iPads in the status bars. And just because I activated the focus mode from my iPhone does not mean I have to turn it off from my iPhone. Because it's shared across all devices, I can actually go into my Apple Watch and turn it off from the control center on my Apple Watch or any of my other devices as well. So hopefully now you feel more comfortable using focus modes and know how to customize them. But if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if you're looking for more iPhone specific videos, I do have a full playlist of iPhone videos with some tips and tricks that I will link down below. If you did get value out of today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more videos. So that's it, I hope you have a great day, bye.